So we will be exploring in our subject of dreams um, and we will be talking about exploration and insight, working with personal content. One of the things that we have been speaking about, we have been talking about dreams as in the where dreams come from and all those things that are surrounding the subject of dreams. And we want to get more into the understanding of dreams and also what can help us to be able to interpret the dreams, the understanding and what can help us also to interpret the very dreams that we that we are actually communicating and um, speaking about many people like what we have been explaining um yeah. after we touch this you you understand basically what it is to really get into interpreting certain dreams um and all the first thing that i want you to understand is when when we we, we we when we talk about exploration we are speaking about association and metaphor work metaphor work we'll be talking about objects all right we'll be talking about objects so one of the things that you will need as we get into this aspect you have to be having a notebook right now all right you have to be having a notebook right now you have to be having a notebook so we are talking about exploration of dreams and there are steps in which one has to take in this subject of exploration all right so the first thing that you have to as we are on on the first thing the first thing the step one all right step one on the aspect of the exploration of dreams step one on the aspect of exploration of dreams is you have to record the dream All right, you have to record the dream. You have to be able to record the dream. Be able to record the dream. All right, record the dream. Many people, you would understand that when it comes to the aspect of dreams, many people do not record their dreams or do not record the aspect of their dreams so you have to record their dream you you re-enter the dream or the dream the segments of your dreams and describe it as it is you know re-experiencing what you would have dreamt all right you have to go into depth in re-experiencing what you would have dreamt all right re-experience the aspect of what you would have dreamt when you were dreaming the dream all right Remember that you, you you are the first person, so you, you have to get into the dream, understand what is in the past tense of the dream, what is in the uh, present tense, the, the, the titles, what is it that are on the dream. If there are sketches that you need to sketch around the dream, make sure you get to sketch them down. All right? Make sure you need to sketch them down. And most of these dreams, as you continue dreaming, most of your dreams, when you give them a storyline, make sure that you come to a place where you record them with a title. Record your dreams with a title. Record them with a title. Now, when you look at a dream, let's let's maybe take one dream. Take one dream that you can, and maybe you can give it a title. We can say a friend of a friend of yours, um, a friend of yours, uh, persuade, all right, is is painting over like a newly painted gray wall with red and blue, all right. And I try to wipe to wipe it off with a rag or with a cloth. And then you wake up screaming. You can title that um, that that dream of yours wiping away the paint, because most of the time, some of these dreams you'd realize that later they will come consistently. Some of these dreams will continuously when they approach or when they come to you. Some of these dreams they will be they they, they will be having that aspect of um, repetitions. So titling some of these dreams will help you to trace down your dreams. 
All right. So you will have to come to a place where you record your dream. You will have to come to a place where you record your dream. It is important for you to record your dream. All right. Record that dream. And the second thing, the second thing that I will advise um, the second thing that I will advise is for you to come to record your life story at the, the time. Your life story. Record your life story at the time. Make sure that you can record your life story at that particular time or at that specific time. When you are recording your life story, um, when you are recording your life story, what are you doing? You are describing. All right. You are describing. You are describing situations. You are describing situations, emotions, whether they are positive, whether they are negative. You are uh, mostly what what you are describing are situations and you know the the emotional positive things and around this we are obviously talking about events because most of our dreams when you realize they correlate with or they resonate with what will be happening to us in like our present lives all right they will be happening with what is happening in our present life so it is like maybe you are you 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 are you are getting to a place where you you are looking for a new job there are things that happen around that environment there are things that happen to your mind concerning those things um, um concerning maybe aspects of a new job maybe that you are pushing to be in a new relationship there are also things that happen around that and also you would realize that some of the dreams now will come to a place where they are um, some of the dreams will come to a place whereby they are they, 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 they are forced out of those situations so you have to also why is you record the dream on the first thing also record what is happening in your life describe what are you going through? What is really happening in your life? All right. What is really happening in your life? Are you in danger? That is the reason why you are dreaming, being, be, be fighting in life. That is to be looked at. Are you in danger? That's why you are dreaming, fighting in life. Is it that you are under an environment whereby certain things are tense in your life? That is why you're experiencing what you're experiencing. So that is the importance of you coming to a place where you have to record your dreams. So the moment, the, the moment you record your dreams, we said record your dreams, then record your life. What is happening? So this will help you now when we go to step number three. All right. When you go to step number three, what 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 do you do? All right. You compare. All right. You compare your dream. To life. Experiences. So that is when now you 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 are you are you are beginning to compare what what's happening, what's happening in 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 your dreams, what is happening in your life. All right. 
you now have to come to a place where you are comparing and saying, what is happening in my dreams? What is happening in my life? Now, when we talk about comparison, there are certain things that you have to, to really come to a place where you have to look at. Uh, maybe at, at the onset, um, you know, does the dream metaphorically um, picture some emotions, situations of your working in life or the situations you're going through in life or the happenings that are happening in your life? Does it introduce an impactful or surpassing or guiding event or resolutions, perhaps opposing the view of like dream self? All right. Or does it alter maybe the views or actions over your self-esteem? Sometimes you'd realize that there is a there can be a conflict. All right. In most in most in most of the times you, you would realize that um like the dream that I explained of uh persuade painting a war and everything and uh I woke up um I'll I'll then wake up um screaming. It might begin to resemble something that begins to happen in 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 in, in life that the moment maybe the, there is gonna be something that is gonna shock me. All right, something that is gonna make me panic that pertains to that person's life in as far as their destiny is concerned. All right. In as far as their destiny is concerned. You have to check where, when you look at most of the things that are in the dream, you have to begin to analyze them. All right. You have to analyze them. We spoke about, we spoke about, uh, I remember the, 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 the dream that I explained to us, we spoke about painting over, right? We spoke about painting over you would realize that which might metaphorically mean making something look better. All right. Painting over the wall, making something to look what better. All right. Then we spoke about me coming with a cloth trying to wipe away. And that aspect of trying to wipe away. Oh, God. What's now coming out here? That aspect of trying to wipe away might necessarily begin to mean me trying to make sure that I erase certain things and not avoiding. All right, let me say avoiding. To think about something. avoiding to think about something so when 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 now you begin to look around this aspect we have to make sure that we put an underlining uh the okay of relation between me and hey, what's happening today and the character in the dream. All right, the relation between me and the character that would have been um, uh, dreamt in that dream. All right, and we we mustn't also forget the aspect of uh, associations. All right. 
the aspect of associations. There is an aspect of associations that is represented right there in the dream that I'm just going to explain to us right now. There is an aspect of association that is represented in the dream because everything that you see is defined. Everything that you see means something. What is it? And what 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 it does whatever you would have dreamt sometimes you have to look at what is the function if you dream a pen what does a pen do a pen writes a pen does what <laughs> writes all right so we are gonna look at this issue of a wall painting me wiping with a rag and uh persuade <laughs> all right so When, when you look at that now, uh, what happens, we spoke about, number one, we spoke about the wall. All right? We spoke about the wall. All right? And in relation, as we explain about the wall, you have to understand is that we are speaking about a barrier. Barrier or something that what, that holds up things. We are speaking about a barrier or something that holds up things. We spoke also about the rag or a cloth. We spoke about the rag or the cloth, which represents um, the issue of um, wiping or cleaning. unwanted stuff or if you were doing signs you say properties <laughs> i believe you are getting some understanding of certain things that are reviewed or certain things that we see in 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 dreams then so there is sort of like a relation now in 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 working life like associations you know the 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 panic is coming to a place where it's now revealing this aspect of okay this person was painting a wall which is a barrier or holding things up which might necessarily mean that we 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 are dealing with a person who what made me to panic because remember i said in the dream then i wake up and i'm screaming it means now the panic is on the aspect of there is a holding up of certain things from the person who we have dreamt in the dream all right so the first the, the, the thing we'll look at there is all right you have to come to a place where if because there is a person all right because there is a person involved you have to come to a place where you define oh god what am i writing here you have to define their personality You have to define their personality. It is like most of the times, maybe if a person dreams me, it's sometimes it's not necessarily that it is me. Sometimes it might be, you might be dreaming me and it's representing the office I hold in the spirit. Sometimes while we are dreaming me, it might be that there is part of my personality, something that you have to deduce for you to be able to understand maybe the dream that you might be dreaming right there. All right. So, so you will see that there are many different things that we can look at depending on, on the person, depending on you, how you have defined that person who is in the dream. So defining the person, it's important. If a person is wicked, you might understand why that person is coming in your dream as the way that they will be coming in. All right. 
you might then understand why they are coming in in your dream as the way that they will be uh, coming in. That they would be uh, coming in. Then the other thing that we have to look at as we go, uh, you have to look at um, the aspect of themes. Themes, all right? I think this will help us as we, we are getting into a point where we'll be understanding the aspect of colors. You have to look at the aspect of themes, all right? You have to look at the aspect of the themes that are in the dream. In the themes, you're looking at similarities. Ah, what you are seeing, all these colors, does it represent something that you know in the physical? All right, you know in the physical. Because you might realize that um, you, you might come to a place where you 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 realize that um the 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 painting represents feelings and emotions the paintings in the dream they might represent feelings or they might represent um emotions then you have to look at you define the person you look at themes you might look at also the issue of memories all right you have to look also on the aspect of memories with relation to what you have dreamt the situation you have dreamt the person you have dreamt all right do you have a memory to relate all right you have to ask yourself does it register a memory all right does it register a memory whatever that you would have dreamt is it registering a memory in you all right so with all this now that is when you come underlying now to <coughs> to the aspect of once you have reached this at least you are halfway to interpreting what, what whatever that might have been in in the midst of your dream while you are on this you are like only halfway of interpreting what you have seen on the dream so many people the aspect is many people want to rush to the point of interpreting yet there are all these things that are involved that as as we we have not even covered that's a little bit of it but we have all these things we have issues of themes is of memories defining the individual which is very much important for us to understand really um and also def defining each and every object in the dream it is important for us to understand what is really happening what is really being revealed and what is that dream trying to speak to us so what you begin to do when you reach this point, you have to rewrite the dream story and relate to your life story. Rewrite the dream story and begin to plug in the associations. Sometimes associations of, okay, what is the use of whatever you've dreamt in the physical and you bring it to the spiritual. It is like if it's a godly dream, sometimes when a person dreams a lion, in the physical, the lion is feared and you are dreaming in the dream and the lion is protecting you. Biblically, I believe I would know that it is the lion of the tribe of Judah that is protecting them. So they are bringing the dream, they are bringing life experience and they're joining it together. Or there is somebody who is of a high authority that might be protecting them. So they might see it and in the interpretation, it might be that they, a prophet or a spiritual authority in their lives is the one that is like protecting them. All right. It is the one that is protecting them. It is the one that is protecting them. So with, with, with the dream that we, we spoke about, the simplest thing is, this is a lady. 
she is right on the wall. And what is she doing on the wall? She is busy painting the wall. All right? She's busy painting the wall. And I come to a place where I, I try to come and wipe away the whatever, uh, the, the whole thing. All right? Uh, the, 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 the whole thing. <clears throat> what it would relate in most of the times is she's trying to paint a new aspect or new opportunities in her life. And my connection with this person, I have certain fears of things that might happen. It might be that they want to enter into a relationship, but I have certain fears that the relationship they're about to enter, or they want to get a new job or it's a new opportunity, but I have certain fears. So what gives me panic that I woke up screaming that panic was me trying to erase and avoid the negative thoughts. They are trying to rebuild or get into another thing. And myself, I have certain negative thoughts or I have my certain fears that I have. So what is happening, I come to a place where I try by all means to block. I try by all means to block that. I hear what I'm saying. It is the same, maybe, that in, 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 in the dream... Uh, if if we say that maybe in the dream it was connecting to a selling of a house, let's say the painting was a selling of a house and I was trying to wipe away, it is the indecision from my side that I would have been indecisive in the aspect of, uh, I would have been indecisive in the aspect of selling that property or selling that asset. So it is not complicated coming to understand dreams, but there is attentiveness and there is a lot of, you have to jot it down, understand what every metaphor means, understand every every object, what it means, relate it in the physical, get also to relate with every participant or actor that is coming in the dream, that which will help you to come to a full conclusion of what really would have come into your dreams. It brings you to a full conclusion of, okay, why did you dream the person that you dreamt? Why did you dream the person that you have dreamt? So that is mainly on it. You would look, if we go into the Bible, that Pharaoh dreamt um, the animals coming from the river Nile. And the river Nile is the one that watered the agriculture of what? Of Egypt. So the source brought out, um, or I, we, we, if we talk first about the cattle, it brought out the cattle, the fat ones, then the thin ones came from the very same source and ate. All right, so there is there is um, similarities. In the physical life, they use this river to do their irrigation. Number two, these different animals, they are one of the major pillars of the economy of Egypt. They are the major pillars of the economy of what? Of Egypt. It is the same when, when we speak about those ships, when Pharaoh dreamt um, the, the, the wheat and the other wheat that was dry and not well ate the wheat that was fed. The, 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 their economy was held with wheat and bread, especially in the olden times. So when you go into the physical, you see that, okay, the wheat and the cows, they represent economy. And the river represented the water. And remember, famine meaning dryness would come, so the river would dry. So there was the river that was brought out there. So the first thing, the river produced fat things. And after that, the river came and produced thin things. So there has to be a comparison you you, uh, uh, as I explained, you also have to go into your life, look at particular emotions, check certain emotions. What are you feeling? What is happening in that particular time? And like some dreams, they might not, uh, some dreams obviously they'll be speaking about the future, but like what, don't ignore also the emotion that come with the dream. Don't ignore the emotion that comes with the dream. So I, I, I want us to get on that and I believe beyond any doubt that uh, we really have spoken in length and someone has uh, gotten the first segment of what we are talking about.